Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Divine Feminine Divine Counterpart reading. I try to do one of these at least once a month for Twin Flames. I'm not sure if I did it last month or not. But, let's get into it. Okay. So let me get... What's the messages from the Divine Masculine Spirit to the Divine Feminine for January 2022? What's the messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine? Okay. And now let's check with the Divine Feminine's deck and see what Divine Feminine's messages are to Divine Masculine. What is Divine Feminine's message, messages to Divine Masculine at this time, Spirit? What is Divine Feminine's messages to Divine Masculine at this time? How does Divine Feminine feel about Divine Masculine at this time, Spirit? How does Divine Feminine feel towards Divine Mask at this time. Let me do one more shuffle for Divine Mask. And how, how does Divine Mask feel towards Divine Feminine Spirit? How does Divine Mask feel towards Divine Feminine? What is the energy surrounding Divine Mask? Towards Divine Feminine Twin Flame, January 2022. What is this masculine energy? And there's another deck I want to pull a couple cards from. Oops, a second. this deck because I haven't used it in a while. This is going to be like some, this is called the Sex Answers Oracle. So we'll pull a few of those at the end just to see where the sexual um, passion levels, so to speak, are between you and Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine. Okay. So let's get into it. Y'all go check out Seventh Harmony. That's her website. Beautiful candle she sent me. This is an Oshun candle. She puts like beautiful decorations inside of the candles as well as crystals. So the website is Seventh Harmony. So go check that out. Okay. So we're going to first pull from Divine Masculine and then we're going to answer with Divine Feminine and back and forth, back and forth. If you watch my videos like this before, you know how it goes, okay? So let's see how Divine Masculine is feeling first. He says, I pushed you away because I was hiding my feelings from you and from myself. This card fell out when I was shuffling, so this is an omen, okay? So Divine Masculine pushed you away because he was hiding his feelings. I'm getting the energy or I'm seeing, I just seen a vision of some someone who can't even look you in the eye because looking at you in the eye just reminds them of how much they're in love with you and they don't want to feel those feelings. Really immature energy. Okay, let's get the divine feminine's answer to that. It says, I feel like I'm always waiting for our connection to reach its fullness and potential. In my heart, I'm waiting for you. It feels like a huge black hole at times. Wow. 
So that's pretty deep. Let's see what Divine Masculine has to say. Okay. Don't think I don't miss you. I do. And it hurts. I can feel your absence. Did you forget me and move on? I can't stand that thought. So I try to block it out. I try to block you out. It doesn't work. I miss you. So Divine Feminine can be missing Divine Masculine. And Divine Masculine is missing Divine Feminine as well. This won't resonate for everyone. Okay. It says we are divine counterparts. This is what divine feminine is saying. We are divine counterparts. This connection is deep, is deep so is a deep soul connection. That was a typo. I know it. Do you? So divine feminine is more more than aware of what this connection is. Okay. And divine masculine says, Love has always been a game to me. It seems safer that way. It's a control issue. It wasn't a game with you. It was real. I'm sorry I didn't let you know that. Okay. And Divine Feminine says, I find myself going around and around in my head about you all day. I don't want to keep doing that. It's not healthy. It's definitely not. Okay. So... Divine Masculine says, I didn't fully realize what was right in front of me. I'm sorry. Sometimes I feel like I don't deserve such a love. It's crazy. So Divine Masculine is, they're pushing you away or they did because they just, like I said, the love was too intense. Like I said, I'm envisioning somebody that can't even look you in the eye for too long. They kind of look away or look down or just rub their eyes or do something real childish. Because like you said, love has always been a game. So very immature energy. It's always been a game until they met you. Now someone's realizing how they fucked up. Divine Feminine says, I can't deal with the drama. We have such passion, such intensity, but I feel like you manipulate me and play games. You feel what I'm saying? It's just not necessary. So this play games came out on both sides. Divine Masculine knows he play games. And the Divine Feminine knows that Divine Masculine plays games. And a divine feminine, a true empress energy or emperor, they're not going for that. Divine masculine says, I have certain ideas about how a relationship should be. I don't know if I can give you what you want right now. I don't know if I can ever give you that. Are you better off without me? Maybe. So this divine masculine could feel like a relationship is supposed to be a certain way, that it is a game. Or maybe somebody's into polyamory or, or some shit. But I feel like this divine feminine is not. She says, I feel like you didn't appreciate my love. So this divine female feels not appreciated by this divine masculine at all. All right. And I feel like this divine masculine knows he, he did not appreciate this divine feminine. He knows that. He's well aware of that. Okay. Divine masculine says, I feel overwhelmed with responsibilities. A lot has happened. I'm not sure how to handle this connection. I don't know where it fits. So this could be a lot of people involved. This person could still be involved with someone. They can have a lot on their plate. Maybe they feel like they don't have enough for you, but they want to, they just don't know how this is going to fit into their complicated, fucked up life. Divine Feminine says, until you, came, until you can come to me with your whole self, your authentic self, I'm focusing on my work and career right now. I'm focusing on other things. Divine Feminine is not playing, I'm, I'm telling you. I feel like there's a strong Divine Feminine here who knows her worth, you know? Even though she knows the connection, she knows how it will always be that love and connection there, she's also strong enough to walk away. This Feminine is focused on her career, her money, her coin, and providing for her, her family, herself, or whatever. Divine Feminine, a true Empress or Emperor, does not chase. They just replace with something a lot better, not just something, not just anything, but with something a lot better. We have on the Divine Masculine side, he's saying, you taught me so much. I am trying to interrogate it all. I am slowly starting to understand. Know that I am grieving in my own way too. So, he, so this Divine Masculine is starting to understand this connection more and more. Maybe you're enlightening them with something that you said or you're saying, or I don't know. Or something that you did or or whatever 
or didn't do. But I feel like you really teach this divine masculine what real love is, what this connection is, and what they're missing out on. Divine Feminine says, are you going to stay away forever? I need communication. Okay. So Divine Feminine may be like, well, why aren't you communicating this? Or when are you going to communicate? Or when are you going to say something? Or whatever. Okay, so that could be some of you waiting for that. Others, you're not. Mm -hmm. Others, you focus on your career, your life, your happiness. You could be seeing someone new. You're just not waiting. Divine Masculine says, I know I have to make a decision. I have intentions to reach out to you. And then I stop myself. I don't know why. Sometimes I just feel frozen. And I'm not sure what your reaction will be. Will you reject me? Are you mad at me? So she just said, are you going to stay away forever? I need communication. And his response was, I know I, ha I know I have made, I know I have to make a decision. I have intentions to reach out to you. And then I stop myself. I don't know why. So this person just gets frozen. They get stuck. This person knows there's a decision that has to be made, whether to stay in the past or move forward with you. I do feel that there is a masculine that wants to reach out a lot. But like it says, they get fearful or they're worried about how you will react or if, or if you will respond. But with, are you going to communicate with me, Karin, coming out? And it's, it says, are you going to stay away forever? I need communication. That says that this feminine will not reject this divine masculine, but she'll be open to hearing what he has to say. So divine feminine says, I feel like this whole thing was a game for you. That hurt. My feelings for you were real. So the game thing came out three times. So a lot of games being played or were being played here with somebody's emotions or feelings. Somebody really genuinely cared this feminine for this divine masculine. And this divine masculine played games or did whatever they did and just really, really childish. Divine masculine says, I didn't expect to have such strong feelings for you. I didn't know what to do with those feelings. I acted immaturely. You see, I know this. This causes me much stress. I don't know what to do do about it so this divine masculine knows he plays games he's immature how he handled it was immature he's well aware of that well aware divine feminine says i would love to see you again feel your arms around me again hold each other again can we reconcile so divine feminine definitely wants communication and some kind of physical physical touch or interaction it doesn't have to be sex but it could just be like hugs or just being in each other's energy or something like that I feel like this divine masculine is also a bit embarrassed about like how they handled the situation as well. It's embarrassing because they know that it was just petty and childish. And but th but this this divine feminist, she said it. She said she would she needs communication. And she said she would love to see this divine masculine again and feel them again. She wants to reconcile. Divine masculine says. I want you to surrender to me. You are mine. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you again. No more broken or empty promises. So this divine masculine is saying, I won't hurt you. Maybe this divine masculine is saying, I'll be more open and vulnerable this time. I won't play the games. I won't do you how I did you. You know? And divine feminine says, I feel like I need to move away from, from this, at least for now. Sometimes distance is good for contemplation and reflection. Yeah, like I said, there's divine feminines here. Some, they really want this connection in others because it's going to be different for everybody, right? They're like, nah, you know, I'm going to focus on my career. I'm going to pull away and, or I'm going to focus on this person that's here with me now that respects me, not somebody that's unsure, plays games or immature or whatever, okay, or stuff with somebody else. Divine Master says, I'm planning to reach out to you in the future. I'm waiting for the right time, divine timing. So this divine masculine is waiting or trying to get something together or have they want to make sure they have the right thing to say when they reach out or that um, they do it at the right time. Or, but there's no time like the present. We have divine feminists saying, all I wanted was more stability. That's it. To know I could count on you would build, to know I could count on you would build trust in a big way. So this divine feminine wants to know that they can trust this person because they don't feel like they can at all. And if they felt like they could, like with any woman, with a man, they would feel they would feel more stability. They would feel more 
that like they could count on this masculine. They don't feel like that at all. They feel like this masculine would do anything, say or do anything to hurt them or try to one up them or or, or to or whatever. Divine masculine says, I would love to have a reconciliation with you. Okay, so divine feminine said right here, can we reconcile? Divine masculine is saying, I would love to have a reconcil reconciliation with you. I am not sure how to go about it. I am working on it. I need to feel you again. So both people want to feel each other again. This person would love to reconcile with you, but they're not sure. They're embarrassed. There's obstacles. They need to make a choice. They need to stand up for themselves. It's a lot they need to do. Divine Feminist says, I want a new beginning with you, but I need to know I can trust you with my heart. Otherwise, I will not surrender. So he, remember, Divine Masculine said, I want you to surrender to me. And she's saying, I want a new beginning with you, but I need to know I can trust you with my heart. Otherwise, I will not surrender. So, so this Divine Feminine is big on stability and trust. They're not with the back and forth, the games, the lies, the third parties, the not being sure, the page energy. They're looking for the emperor or they don't want nothing at all. Divine Masculine says, I don't want to have conflict with you. I'm not trying to play games. I'm just conflicted in my mind about how to proceed. So this Divine Masculine doesn't want you to think he's playing games. He's really conflicted about how to move this forward with you. Because he knows that what you're expecting and wanting and, and most importantly, what you deserve. Divine Feminine says, I have many other opportunities in my life. I'm not going to put my life on hold for you. I'm waiting for now, but I won't wait forever. Wow. So this Feminine has opportunities, has options. People want, of course, people want the, the Empress, the Divine Feminine energy, of course. They don't wait around. Like I said, somebody is in their true divinity. They do not wait. Okay. The divine masculine says, I have deep regrets for the way we parted. I didn't want to go our separate ways, but it seemed best at the time. And I thought you would chase me. I'm sad. So again, the games, this divine masculine parted ways with you in a fucked up way or said something. They thought you would chase or cry or come running behind them. That's a fucking negative. Somebody obviously here don't know you or don't see you for who you truly are. Somebody's used to playing with like hoes they can play games with or, or whatever and they go for that shit. Not the divine feminine, not your twin flame. And nor should you want to treat them like that. Divine Feminist says, I am focusing on myself, period. My own happiness and my own finances right now. Just period. Like, when this person did what they did or said what they did to end the connection, this Divine Feminine went to work. Not not getting sad or work because a true person in their divinity, they, they, they understand the mind. They know that this person was malicious, mean, miserable. So why would they go sit up and be sad behind somebody that they know is sad and miserable in their life? They're not going to do that. The only thing that's going to hurt them is that they that this is a twin flame connection and that they will handle the shit that way. It, it, it ain't going to break them, though. Nowhere near that. If anything, it'll make them better. Divine Masculine says, I want to be real with you. Don't hurt me. So Divine Masculine may be worried about you hurting them like they hurt you. But once again... Divine Feminine would never move that way. That's just not what you do in a twin flame connection. I'm sorry. In these 3D connections and these whores or regular motherfuckers, yeah, but not with your twin flame. Divine Feminine says, don't rush in here and disappear again. So he's saying, I want to I wanna be real with you. Don't hurt me. And Divine Feminine is saying, don't rush in here and disappear again. So we'll get a few more. Divine Master says, I am genuinely happy when I'm with you. I know we could have it all. I do want that with you. So this Divine Master knows that they can have it all. The the kids, the marriage, the, the everything with you. Divine Feminist says, I find it hard to trust you. I want to, but trust is earned, which is understandable. This Divine Master plays a lot of games. Divine Masculine says, I left because I thought it would be best for me to do so. For both of us, I miss you. So this Masculine really thought by handling shit the way they handled it, it, it was best at the time. Somebody might be a little off. Divine Feminine says, I feel such passion for you. Even after all this time, I want to show you, please come home. 
So there's a feminine here that really wants the divine masculine to come back. Divine masculine says, I will contact you soon. I will. That is my intention. I can feel you giving up. Expect the unexpected. So this divine masculine knows you, you've given up. Some people have given up and others are giving up. This person is going to come in and it's going to surprise you and shock you when this divine masculine does. Divine feminine says, I am growing frustrated and impatient. I can't wait forever. I need to move on from this. If not now, when? Wow, that that really linked up. So he's like, I'll contact you soon. I will. That is my intention. And, and feminine like when? Because I'm going frustrated and impatient. I can't wait forever. You see how that lines up? Like, uh-uh, I'm not about to play with you. Because you'll say forever you're going to reach out. But when is that going to be? Okay. So let's get a couple uh, sex answer oracle cards and see what's on each other's mind sexually, on divine masculine, divine feminine's mind sexually. We have the lovers at the bottom of this card, the lovers at the bottom of, I mean, this deck. So being in love, and then we have the ten of pentacles at the bottom of this one. So this is longevity. It matches up with what was said in the cards. Being in love, longevity. Okay. What's the messages here? One person could be dark skin and one person could be like almond skin or like caramel skin color. Okay. Divine masculine could be darker than the divine feminine. Divine feminine seems to have like a butter pecan or caramel color skin. What's the message here for divine masculine and divine feminine, please, spirit? What is the messages between divine, the passionate men? Okay. It says, let me take you. He has his hand out. So divine masculine says, let me take you. Because that looks like a man's hand. So that's why I'm going to say it's divine masculine saying that. Plus it fell out on divine masculine's side. What's the messages here between the two? And then playing hard to get. We got the feminine on there. So the feminine is like, nah, if you want me, come and get me. So playing hard to get, yeah. Okay, what's the messages? What's the messages here between divine masculine, divine feminine? What is this between these two? Undress me slowly. Yeah. So. Maybe this is what the divine masculine wants to do to divine feminine. Or this is what divine feminine wants. Emotionally distant. Yeah. This divine masculine could be emotionally distant at this time. Because he's not sure what to do. That he still has a lot going on in his life. And then we have. It says waiting for you to come. Oh. So this. So yeah. This divine masculine. Could make. Could really want to make you. You know. You know. And this emotionally distance card, I'm just hearing, like, this could be this divine masculine with a, with a karmic that they feel emotionally distant from. Even if it's sex, for some, it, they may not be having sex anymore, but for others, they still could be. It's a distance. It's just physical. The emotions are not there at all. Okay, we have open, the re open relationship. Yeah. So this divine masculine could be looking for an open relationship or, or maybe this is how they were in the past. Okay. We have take the initiative. Yeah. Feminine wants this divine masculine to take the initiative. It says show your wild side. Yeah. So yeah, this divine masculine could be a little wild. They can have a lot of sex with different people, but it's it's just it's emotionalist. It's just sex and yeah, an open relationship. Yeah, and they they like to be in open relationships to be able to do what they want to do. But I feel like 
you make them want to change that because you're the twin flame, of course. You're the divine feminine. It says protect yourself. Yeah, somebody needs to wear a condom here. And, or maybe this divine masculine doesn't. It says you're the one I want. Yeah, this divine masculine wants you, but they definitely... They definitely are sleeping around here and maybe have an unprotected sex at that because you can see the condom is still in the wrapper here or somebody could be trying to trap them. She looked kind of sneaky with her mouth next to this condom. So somebody could trap someone into a pregnancy or they're trying to. If you watch my live, go back and watch it from earlier. That was a hot one. Okay, like, yeah. And it's kind of relating to this. We have um, hiding my intentions. Yeah. And then we have got mixed signals. So yeah, this, this divine masculine or feminine, it could be either one. Could be sleeping around a lot. No emotions attached, just sex. No, not, they don't have good intentions here. They're just using these women or these guys because it could be vice versa as placeholders until they come to you just period yeah it says please me it says please tease me yeah we'll get a couple more and then those are the messages what else here what else yeah I knew this was coming out I want to taste you so, and then um, waiting for you to come came out. So I feel like this person wants to please you sexually. Uh, you know, just kind of eat you up. <laughs> or these, or somebody here just wants head or something. Yeah, please tease me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I feel like there's also, I'm hearing a masculine that just wants head from females. They don't even want to fuck. They just, and they're just doing this. They're not attached emotionally or anything. They're just doing this for fun. Yeah, it says, let's make love in the moonlight. That's what I feel like this masculine wants to do. And it says, I want to make you scream. I definitely feel like there's a masculine that wants to definitely eat you up. They just want to taste you. They want to see how you taste. Okay. It says, I'm testing your limits. Yeah. <laughs> this person really wants to do that. Like, yeah, I want to make you scream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No strings attached. There's someone else. So, so, so somebody here is sleeping around with no strings attached. Because their heart is somewhere else and with someone else. So it's like a lot of placeholder type energy. Yeah, it says, going to make you mine. This masculine knows who they want and they're going to make you theirs. Okay. Yeah. Nobody satisfies you like this divine masculine or divine feminine. And if they haven't had you like that yet, then nobody ever will. Okay. It says, get creative with me. Yeah. You see, that's attraction. That's like the ace of wands. And then we have the, this is the vagina here. So somebody's definitely wanting to. Or somebody thinks you have a really wet vagina or something like that. And at the bottom, obsessed with you. And this is a masculine. So this person is obsessed with you or obsessed with the sex or whatever. Yeah, you're my fantasy. Okay? This person spends a lot of time fantasizing about you. All right? So those are your messages for the month of January from Divine Feminine to Divine well, conversation between divine masculine and divine feminine. Okay. 
I hope this resonates. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and follow me on Instagram at empresscottis underscore 35.